Anyway, so YouTube time limit cut on me. I don't know how. Um, it's kind of weird. I guess they only allow 15 minute uploads like webcam. But anyways, carry on. I really don't have a favorite pet. How'd you get up there? Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> anyways, um. But yeah. As I was saying, I really don't have a uh, favorite sports team. Now the second question, third question by uh, the seventh Snivy was if you guys played black and white, what are your in game teams? Um, hmm. I haven't considered it, but let me check the Cerebi decks real quick. I do know what they are, what they look like, but I don't know what they're called. Now if they have to be strictly from black and white, um, I would have to say. Well, for starters, if I have to have a starter. To be honest, I like all three starters. Uh, Superior, Embor, or oh, anything else. Oshawott, Tepig, and Snivy. I don't like Snivy's second evolution. Or Tepig's. Or Duot's. Or Oshawott's. But I do like the first and third evolutions of all three of them. But it's more of a tie between Superior and Embor. And maybe Samurott would be coming kind of close between there. But, um, it would have to be one of the starters, either Tepig or Snivy, which Tepig I would have called Pumba. Um, let me see, what's his name? So that's one, we have Tepig. Tepig or Snivy, for that matter. Um, I think if it was a Snivy, by the way, it would probably be female. I've always wanted a female starter. I always have male starters. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But anyways. Um, I do like Seismitoad, so that would probably be two, if I had an option. It would be either Seismitoad or Crocodile. Um, Darmanitan would definitely be one, so that's three. Uh, Caracosta is another one that I would like. I don't know about Zoark. Zoark seems pretty cool, but I think I prefer, for uh, Riunculus. And this is without legendaries, by the way. I know a lot of people are like, no, no legendaries on your team. Um, which other one do I like? Um, I'm not too huge a fan of Haxorus. But if I had to choose the last Pokemon on my team, it wouldn't be Durant, but, you know, it would probably be Gorluck. Or... Uh... Electros. So that would be my six. That's kind of confusing. I don't know if you guys can track of that, but uh, those would probably be my choices. You know, I'd probably have to switch between the ones that I had trouble choosing between. So, you know. Uh, let's see. What would you like to do if you guys became popular? Uh, well, to conclude the other question, those would be my team. But anyways, the seventh Snivy also asks, what would you like to do if you guys became popular on YouTube? Rub it in your face. No, I'm just joking. I wouldn't do that. Um, I would like to help other people get recognized on YouTube. Like, uh, not just YouTubers, but people who work hard on Flash games. I consider doing a segment called Flash Friday since Minecraft Sundays is kind of going out of style right now. Uh, there probably won't be another Minecraft Sunday. I am taking requests, by the way, for building things on Minecraft, so that from now on, that'll be Minecraft Sundays. Uh, just taking requests, you know, teach me how to build this, teach me how to build that. Uh, is this thing? Yeah, it is recording, okay. I thought it wasn't recording. But anyways, um, derp. Yeah, I would like to do that, you know, I'm thinking of doing Flash Friday, just play a Flash game for maybe five, ten minutes. And if it goes any further than that, make it a little ep mini-sode. Uh, you know, get those hard workers recognized, you know, so get them out there. I'd also like to do charity stuff, which I'm planning to do in December, maybe. You know, I have to work out the kinks and stuff. Um, even not being famous, I would still like to do that. But yeah, I would like to just make the world a better place, I guess. It sounds like a very Miss, uh, you know, Miss uh, America kind of thing. But um, other than that, that's what I would like to do. And thank you, Snivy, for... The seventh Snivy for congratulating us on 200 subscribers. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, to John, paper or plastic? I don't know what you mean. 
but probably plastic. I don't know. A lot of things these days are used plastic. I mean, huh. That's like saying rubber or no rubber? I don't know what. Okay, just plastic. I, I'm not sure. Your question kind of confuses me. Uh, I guess that's what you. I don't know if that was your goal, but oh, and I'm sorry. The question is by C Droix or C D Roix or C D R O I X. I'm sorry, I can't get your name right. Uh, I butchered that completely. Uh, but yeah, I think I would choose plastic paper. You know, let's save some trees. Give us some fresh air. You know, other than that, plastic. Good stuff. Unless obviously I'm not. I'm having a dirt moment. And I don't realize plastic is made from the same material. But I highly doubt that. Of course, you know, I don't know. I'm ha my brain is just on the fritz right now. Okay. Choc o lit milk or chocolate milk. She has a zero. I thought I'd emphasize that. But, um, I suppose it's a question for all of you. Whoever wants to answer can. Er, wait. Okay, yeah. How did we meet? Oh, goodness. From my end, this is different. You know, Alex is going to have a different story. Matt's going to have a different story. Uh, but from my end, it was because I didn't fit anywhere. Throughout my life, I didn't really fit anywhere in the people. You know, I, I just can never fit in a group of uh, friends or anything. You know, I'd always have friends turn, you know, not back, so I don't want to get into the whole dramatic thing, but, you know, you know, they would go with their groups and there would be cliques and all this stuff and, you know, how it breaks down. You know, um, I like to say that I walked in with a bunch of friends and only left with two. Or three at four at most. Uh, which is true, actually. But anyways, getting far from the point. Uh, I met Alex and Matt in the hallway. There would always be this, at lunchtime, there would be this hallway where they would always sit, you know, it was a good time. It, it was just, you know, it was good time. But, um, those are the good days, you know, just sitting there having lunch. But, um, it would happen, what, what caused me to run into them was just that, you know, one day I was just really kind of alone for lunch. Well, not one day, I was both about half a year maybe. And I thought, you know, hey, these guys are you know, I'll just sit here. I think they're pretty cool because you know I saw, I've seen them before. You know, I saw Alex and Matt, and at first, Matt and I didn't get along at first. I didn't, you know, at first. Now we're okay. We're pretty okay. Matt's pretty cool. I gotta be honest. Um, Alex is awesome too. And you know, they they just took me the way I am. You know, they they weren't judgmental or anything. You know, they weren't a, you know, they weren't like other people slapping labels on me. And um, I don't want to play a racial card. I was. There were a few Hispanics that went to our school, so I didn't really fit in with the Asians or the Africans or the Indians or the Alaskans. I don't even think we had Alaskans, but um, or the white people. So you know, I kind of just squeezed myself into that little um, I don't want to say misfit group, but you know, we were just there. That's the thing. So you know, we just became friends, and then that we, you know, we're the best of friends, pretty much. You know, sometimes we had an argument and this and that, but you know, we always pulled through together. So I'm happy for that. Uh, what gave you the idea to start a collab channel? This is the thing that we always, always, always argue about. Um, who, who started it? Matt says it was his idea. Alex says it was his idea. I say it was mine, but it probably wasn't my idea. Um, I believe that it was Matt's idea, actually, to start. Alex says it was his. I don't know, to be honest. Um... But I gotta admit, I'm, I, I can't say. I don't know. I don't know whose idea it was. But, um, you know, we just sat down and we're like, oh, hey, yeah, let's become LPers. Because, you know, we like these people. Like, you know, I like Zeta Plays and Alex likes uh, NCS. Um, not NCIS, NCS. And Matt likes Chugga Conroy or whoever it was that he liked. And then we just sat down making names. You know, we thought, like, the, uh, Nintendo Nerds or the, um, you know, just random names, like the the triple dorks or something. I don't think that was one of them. But I I do think one of our names that we were going to choose was like, the, like yeah, I think the Nintendo Nerds was something we were going to choose, but we didn't want to stick to uh, one gaming thing. It would always be like, you know, we want to get a wide, vast, uh, you know, area. So uh, we went to like the Gaming Nerds or um, the Gaming Geeks or Three Gamers 
or the you know something that resembles. But then, um, you know, we had something that had to do with blades, and that was always something we just kind of got together with. Uh, which is why Final Fantasy stole this from us. I swear to God. Uh, when I don't know what cutscene it is, Alex knows. Like one person went like this, and the other person took their other forearm, and they went like this together to like a blade. That was our thing before Final Fantasy did it. I swear to God, we were doing that in high school before that game came out. Um, so other than that, we decided, okay, well, hey, blades. Okay, well, hmm, gaming blades, blades of gaming. So let's do that. You know, I don't. I think it was Alex who came up with the name, or we just did it together, and we're like, yeah, you know, let's take blades of gaming. And we just all voted yes on it, so that came to be. And I got five more minutes before this thing comes off of me. Um, oh, what gave us? Not how did we get together, I'm sorry. Uh, what gave us the idea? Just watching other LPers, you know, we'd like games that much, you know, that, and desire to become a game producer, or, you know, Alex's desire to make games and match things to, you know, want to be a part of gaming. That kind of just drove us to this. And we were thinking, like I announced in the 100 subscriber special, uh, sooner or later, once we actually start trying to make games, we'll put our wares out, you know, for you to, like, look at. And you know, if you like it, maybe we'll put a demo out or something. But that's way far in the future. Um, you know, so that's pretty much all I can say about that. Uh, that's a question for Alex. Um, where do we live? Where do I live? Um, I live in a bat cave. No, I'm just kidding. I live in a tiny room, which if you saw in the last segment, it was really small. Um, but I live in Maryland. In Montgomery, Co eh, Montgomery College. Montgomery County. Um, so, I'm, I'm fine with, you know, revealing where I live. Not, not the exact address, but, you know, I live in, uh, Maryland. Nobody knows where Maryland is. Check where Virginia is in Pennsylvania, New York, and then you'll find Maryland. It's on the uh, near the ocean. We just had an earthquake. Google Maryland 2011 earthquake, and then you'll find Maryland. We're right there. And by the way, we don't we're not known for earthquakes. That's rare, so don't get that idea. Um, I terrify the fuck out of me too, to be honest. Um, where do we all live? What else I have to say? Before I end this, uh, that was the last question, by the way. Chocolate milk. So, thank you everybody for your questions. If you guys have any questions for me, specifically me, go ahead and put them down in the uh, comments. I'll make sure to read them and I'll type them. I'll be checking daily. Even if it's like next year, I'll still be, I'll still answer your questions. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day, I guess. You know, we're, we, we want to cater to all our fans. You know, we, okay, it sounds weird. We love you guys because, you know, you guys, you know, you sub to us, you watch our videos, you leave comments, and, you know, you give us thumbs up, you tell us what you want. Uh, and we're, we try our best to give you what you want. Um, so yeah, hopefully for 300 we'll do something really nice. Um, we can get things, get the ball rolling or something. Look forward to a website, uh, for Blades of Gaming. I'm gonna, uh, made by, I know people don't like Wixes, but, you know, like, I did for my Pokemon thing. But, uh, yeah, so look forward to something like that. Because it does work, it's the only thing I really know how to use. Um, but, yeah, look forward to that. So, until next time guys, I'm Don Blades Gaming, signing out. Big old friends. And I'll see you next time on whenever I record. Later.